So, so everyone will accept, yes, a blood clot is the final thing that wipes you out with heart disease or stroke or whatever. The, almost everyone accepts that, that a, a, I would say everyone accepts to a degree or one degree or other, that the that, that plaque, once you've got an area of atherosclerotic plaque, that becomes a vulnerable area where a blood clot is more likely to form. And in fact, you can follow people. They've, they've, they've followed people for, for years um, doing what they call angiograms where they look at your arteries. So people have had a heart attack. There was a study where they kept looking and saying, well, let's look at what happens at those arteries. Every year we're going to have a, a, a look, if you like, and see what's happened to that area of thickening. And what they found was that the plaque doesn't just doesn't gradually get bigger and bigger as if LDL is being gradually absorbed into it. That's not what you see. What you see is most of the plaques stay at the same size. Some of them have suddenly jumped in size. All right. The jumping in size is because a new blood clot formed over that point. Then it settled down. Either it killed you or it didn't. It narrowed the artery, but it may have caused no symptoms. And then you can see that it's grown. It's jumped in size. It's called phasic growth rather than gradual growth. So everyone that says, yes, well, that's how blood, once you've got a plaque, plaques grow through repeated deposition of blood clots on that point. The final event is a blood clot. What they, but but actually what they what they say is but that's not what starts it what starts it is LDL getting into the artery wall so like, well you've got a process that makes sense from start to finish I mean Elspeth Smith who taught me in Aberdeen all those years ago wrote papers on this which I didn't really appreciate until far too late when she was dead I never got a chance to speak to her she said that basically um, she looked at artery walls that appeared to be coronary arteries that appeared to have no atherosclerosis in them. And if you looked at them correctly, what you found was evidence that there had been blood clots in those arteries in the past. Because what she was finding was, there's a substance in blood clots called fibrin, which is, um, you may have probably heard of it, but think of it essentially as blood clots are, lots of stuff gets stuck to the artery wall, then bits of, small bits of fibrinogen get stuck together end to end to form a long sticky wire of fibrin, which wraps around the whole clot and tightens it up really tight fibrin is very difficult to it, 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 if it's there and you don't have the right enzymes around it's really really difficult to break down so you can find remnants fibrin remnants in artery walls where there's no apparent plaque or clot or anything and then she said well how did it get there well it got there as part of a blood clot which has now been virtually entirely got rid of and she wrote that you can understand the entire process of atherosclerosis, which is not thyroid, thickening of arteries, can be explained by, by thrombosis or blood clotting. Right? Now, this was 50 years ago. Not 50 years ago, not that bloody old. It's 40 years ago. And, uh, you know, you go back, if you go back, the very first person to look at atherosclerotic plaques in detail was, was a guy called Karl von Rokitansky in 1850. He looked at blood, he looked at plaques and arteries. People say, oh, heart disease is a new disease and it didn't come along to the 20th century ago. Well, what was he looking at then? Um, he was looking at plaques and arteries of people who died in car crashes or whatever or other things. And he was a pathologist working in Vienna. Uh, and he, he looked at plaques and said, what I'm seeing is blood clots in various different stages of metamorphosis or change. These are blood clots, is what he said. And he called it the incrustation theory. And he wrote about this in 1852. All right. So this is not like a damn new thing. I'm not the first person to think this in the history of medicine. Uh, other people have been saying this for years. That's just no one's ever paid any attention to it. There's a guy after the Second World War called Duguid. Uh, he sounds like a good Scotsman, but I don't know if he was Scots or not. And here he looked at it and he said basically the same thing. This is what's happening. What I am seeing is blood clots in artery walls that are being transformed to look like they're not blood clots anymore because obviously they over years they get broken down and turned into different things and they become calcified and whatever happens to them and and R ronald ross in the 1970s be working alongside people like elspeth smith talked about the response to injury hypothesis whereby what happens is you get damage and then the whole process occurs and then that's that's heart disease all right 